It just won't go away this now, you know. Um, I said a few weeks ago I'd heard about this and his treatment of some of the players. Players were they're not they're not they're not um taken by his methods and they feel a bit fatigued, tired now. That happens a lot, Mark, when players uh, are not performing to the best. There's always someone else to blame. But I think clearly there's a bit of a problem here and uh, it could get worse. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, it reminds me of, well, it doesn't remind me of Sir Alex Days because he was winning things. But yesterday we had the press conference and I think four journalists were banned. And one of them, the Manchester Evening News, a local paper, they put a statement out. They weren't very happy. But, you know, you, you, you guys work in the media. If you said something this morning and Manchester United banned you from a press conference, I'm sure you'd take it on the chin because yeah. you're journalists. And that's the whole point, isn't it? I, I think I think I think some of the media acted you know, childishly yesterday, but moaning about not being in a press conference. Your job is to be impartial, and your job is to report things and 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 face the 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 the, the, the comeback from United fans. I wasn't happy about it yesterday when I heard players were um, turning on the manager again because they've done it multiple times. So, look, I've, I I think Ten Hag's fighting for his job really, but um, I think it's I I just think as a, as a fan. Do we are we going to sack another manager like we sacked Ali, like we sacked Jose, like we sacked Lou Van Hal, or are we going to actually look at what the problem is here? Which is is for me there is a there is a toxic element within that football club, mm. probably because of the way the clubs run. And I think whoever comes in, whether it's Sir Jim next week and what 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 say he's got, I think you've got to stick with Ten Hag and say, look, let's give him two more years. The results might not be great, but we're not getting anywhere near Liverpool or Man City by changing another manager. How hard is it going to be for another manager to come in and inherit? £500 million worth of Ten Hag signings in the last 12 months. Correct. I think you made a good point. I'm going to ask you, Matt, why, have I, I, I missed it, why uh, uh, were four outlets of or journalists banned? What, for what reason, United didn't like what they were writing or saying, or why was there a ban? Yeah, so basically, I think on, uh, it was Monday night, um, there was a, it was a national, uh, it was, I think it was um, Sky or something, said 50% of the dressing room have turned against him. And then another journalist came out. And then yesterday morning, the Manchester Evening News did. And it was a hit piece on, on the right, manager, really. Right. It's basically saying that, you know, half the dressing room's not with him. Um, and United but just banned him from the press conference. Which, and I think they did it because these journalists didn't go to the club to get a comment on it. And I think the club is, club is saying, look, you know, but I, I, that's just like Christmas is coming, isn't it? If you if you start slagging off your relatives and then you don't get invited around for Christmas, mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what mm -hmm. do you expect? Sir Alex didn't talk to one particular national broadcaster for years. Yeah. So it's a bit of teeth from United and it's a bit of kick up the backside from these journalists. To, you know, you, Man United can't be a meal ticket. If you say something bad, then... You know, carry on saying what you're saying and have, have the courage of your convictions, really, isn't it? Mm, see, the, the, the agents now <coughs> are involved in all this, aren't they? You know, journalists get to know agents and mm. and that's where the leaks... So it might not be the player who said that to the journalist, but no. it's someone associated with the player. Mm -hmm. What about tonight, Mark? What are you thinking? Yeah, I think... Uh, well, I'm hoping that uh, the reaction that uh, was seen yesterday a lot on social media from United fans actually... Even some who were probably thinking Ten Hag might be on, on on thin ice. I think the reaction to it yesterday was almost like, well, look, we're not having this. We're not having players turning and, and downing tools again. We mentioned it yesterday, Ali. It's not downing tools on the manager. It's downing tools on the fans. You're Correct. not playing for the fans, ultimately. Yeah. So I'm hoping tonight in front of 75,000 against Chelsea, we might actually see a United team that reacts. So I'm going to go with a... It'll be tight, it'll be tight. Um, it'll go one or two ways. United will either not turn up like they didn't at Newcastle or they will react and uh, I fancy a tight 1-0 United tonight Do you think United just finally Mark are United playing better away from home than at home in terms of performance levels? Well they were up until until Saturday, Saturday where yeah. they were absolutely rubbish well, it's but not I think, easy I, in Newcastle no, though is it? Let's be fair no, 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 Newcastle were fantastic and also United have played a lot of teams down near the bottom but the pressure's off away from home isn't it? You can put in a bad performance and I mean, apparently some of the players ignore the away fans and just head down the tunnel. So, you know, you try and do that tonight, they'll get a different reaction. Yeah. So, yeah, you're probably right. Mark, let's see Enjoy what happens game, tonight. Mate. Ali will be there. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, on commentary duty. It's, uh, Ali, it's a difficult one. Just qu quickly before we break. When you're playing well at home and away and you've just been gubbed and you have to walk over the fans, sometimes you just want to, you, you know you're disappointed. You know they are. Yeah, but you've got to do it. You've got to thank yeah, them for travelling. I know, but, I, I, but they're giving you pelters as well. Well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but it was warranted on Saturday. I tell you right now, the, the pel I keep saying it. I went to that game last night and I saw a team willing to run about and close people down and end up getting beat. But I tell you what, every one of their fans stayed mm. 
and cheered them off the pitch, and that's the difference. Yeah. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.